I'm not gonna lie, wrapping vinyl tapered tumblers is kind of a pain in the butt, but they are so cute and adorable. Hi y'all and welcome to Daily Dose of DIY. My name is Chris and today I'm going to show you not only how to wrap these tumblers, but I'm going to show you how to make a template in Cricut Design Space that will fit your own cups and you can use to cut the vinyl and then I will give you my tips and tricks to get these wrapped. I got these adorable tumblers at Save a Cup. They have great discounts for wholesale as well. If you are doing these in bulk, they do make great gifts and they are great sellers. Be sure to check the description for all the links of the supplies I used to make these tumbler wraps. You are going to need Cricut Design Space, your favorite vinyl, and a tapered tumbler. You'll also want to have a craft knife, some transfer tape, and a weeding tool. We're going to be cutting this on our Cricut, and I'll show you how to do the template in Design Space. Let's go. The first thing you need to do is measure your tumbler. Be sure to go around the top of the cup and get the measurement. And then you also want to go around the bottom of the cup and write down the measurement for that as well. Last, you want to measure from top to bottom to get the height of your cup. To make a tumbler template in Cricut Design Space, we're first going to go over to shapes and then select a square. Once the square appears on the screen, we need to go to the top menu and click the little lock button to unlock the dimensions. Now the largest dimension of our cup was 11.75 inches, so I'm going to type that in the width. And then the height of our cup was 8.3 inches, so I will type that in for the height. Next, I'm going to go down to the bottom left corner and reduce the size to 75% so we can see what we are doing easier. Now we need a square that matches the smallest width of our tumbler, which when we measured that around the bottom was 8.3 inches. So I'm going to make another square and change the color so we can see the difference. Go back and unlock the dimensions and change the width to 8.3 inches. Now we are going to take our second rectangle and butt it up along the bottom of our first one. So we want the top of the purple rectangle to be even with the bottom of the gray one. Then we are going to select both of them, go to the align menu and center horizontally. Now we need to create a second rectangle. So I'm going to select the purple one and hit Control C to copy, Control V to paste if you're on a PC and that's Command C, Command V if you're on a Mac. Change the color to something different and then we're going to drag it down. If you place your cursor just outside those little squares, the arrow turns curved and you can use that to spin the rectangle around. Now this might take a little back and forth, but what we want to do is to get this rectangle on the exact angle that will hit the top corner on our top rectangle and it will hit the top corner on our bottom rectangle. Once you have that rectangle in place, I'm going to hit Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and make another one. Move that over to the side, and then on the top menu, we want to go to Flip, and then Flip Horizontal. That will give us the exact same angle, so all we have to do on the right side is put it in place so it matches the top corner of your top rectangle and the top rectangle top corner of the bottom rectangle. We are done with the bottom light purple rectangle now so I'm just going to select it and hit to delete to get rid of it. Now we want to select all three of our other rectangles and then we are going to go to the combine menu on the bottom of the layers menu and click subtract. Now we have the template for our tapered cup. From here, I'm going to save it so we can use it as for different projects. So I'm going to click the save button and name it tapered tumbler template. Now we can add a design to our template. So I am going to go over and click images. I already have animal print up in the search and I actually really love the first one that popped up. It has some paw prints and a cheetah print, so I'm going to select that one and add to canvas. 
Next, place the print over your template and you can adjust the size as needed if you want to make it smaller or bigger. I'm going to go with this size. So the next thing we need to do is make a copy of it. Again, hit Control C to copy, Control V to paste. But I don't really want this copy in my way. So I'm going to go over to the layers menu and click the little eye icon and make it disappear for now. Next, we're going to get the animal print in a good position over our template. I'm looking for things like that paw print over on the left. I don't really want a lot of elements to hang over. So let's move it up a little bit and get that whole paw print on there. We can't easily make a seamless template for a tapered tumbler. That's a tongue twister in design space. So as many pieces as we can get to fit inside the template, the better. And then we'll take the pieces that hang over off in the next step. Once you're happy with the placement, select both your design and the template. And then we're going to go to the combine menu again. And this time we're going to choose intersect. This will leave just the design in the shape of the template. You can see over on the edges, there are some parts of the design that got caught off, cut off. Now, when we cut this tumbler and wrap it around, those pieces will not line up because it's not a seamless design. If that doesn't bother you, you can cut this as is. But if you want your tumbler to appear seamless, we're going to remove those. I'm going to do that by going to the shapes menu and selecting a circle. And then we're just going to position the circle over all of the pieces that got cut off. You may have to do this a couple of times and resize your circle. I am change the color to make it easier to see to make sure that they are covered. Go around and place a circle over all of the pieces that are cut off along the left and the right edge. Once you have most of the pieces covered, select everything and we're going to use the combined menu again and select subtract. You may have a few extra pieces you need to come and get like I have a little piece over there. So I'm going to place a circle back over that section and any other areas that got missed. The circle will need to be moved to the front for this to work. I don't see anywhere else. So I'm going to select those two and subtract again to delete that piece. Actually, I think this little piece over here on the left needs to go too. He looks pretty cut off. So I'm going to repeat the process of taking him off with a circle again. Now our template is ready to cut. I am going to go back. And if you remember that copy of our pattern that we hid, go back down the layers menu and click the eye and bring it back on. Now the point of this is to fill in some of those gaps after we get this wrap on the tumbler to make it look like a seamless design. However, I don't really need the whole entire pattern cut. We probably are just going to need a few pieces. So I'm going to go to the shapes menu once more and select a square and cover most of this pattern up and then select both the pattern and the square click subtract again to just leave us a little section. Once that's done, you'll notice our extra pattern and our tumbler template are two different colors. So I'm going to go to the little color square and make them both the same color. And then we are ready to click the make it button. On the mat screen, I'm just going to select our extra pattern that we're cutting and move it down a little bit to separate it from our template so I can tell the difference and then click continue. I am using holographic vinyl from HTV Rant. Be sure to check the description for that link. So I'm going to choose holographic and then let's load our mat and get this cut. The holographic vinyl has a protective film over it, so be sure to remove that before you cut or it'll be a pain. After your film is removed, just line up your vinyl on your Cric Cricut cut mat, smooth it down, and load the mat into your machine. Once Cricut is finished cutting, we will be back to get it weeded and transferred. Once your Cricut's finished cutting, unload your mat. And I like to weed designs like this just right on the mat. So I'm going to grab my weeding pin 
this is a great tool to have. You get it free when you join our Cricut Crafters Club subscription box. So be sure to check the description if you're interested in having crafts delivered right to your door. The HTV Rant vinyl weeds beautifully. So I'm just going to pull the whole thing off at once. You still want to go slow to make sure all the pieces you want to stay, stay on the sheet. Next, flip your mat over and remove your vinyl sheet from the mat. We want to do this so the vinyl doesn't curl and get wrinkly as it gets removed. And then I'm going to take my scissors and just trim this up. Let's take off the extra bits we cut and then trim very close to the bottom and the sides of our template. Now we're going to add the transfer tape. I always start one end, fold down the backing, and then once it's stuck down on that end, pull the backing off as you smooth down the front. This helps it go on nice and wrinkle free. Once your transfer tape is on, we are then going to cut this template in half because it is so much easier to get on the cup that way. After you have it cut in half, go around all the sides and cut little notches. Be sure not to cut through any of your vinyl design, but we want to cut notches so that it will go around the curve just a little bit easier. Before we transfer to our cup, we want to make sure our cup is nice and clean. I have this little jar of one use alcohol wipes. It's super handy to keep in your craft room. I can link you to where I bought these on Amazon. I love using them this way. After your cup is all clean, leave it set for a few minutes to dry and then we'll be ready to transfer. Now comes the fun part of transferring our design. The first thing you want to do is determine which part of your design is up and which part is down by looking at the angles on the end and then remove the end of the backing from the vinyl. Now we cut slits in there so it might be a little hard to get it started. Make sure your vinyl pieces stick to the transfer tape. Once you get that end off, fold it down and we'll be ready to add it to the cup. Next, line the vinyl transfer up on your cup. It's very important you don't let it stick yet. Use the part where the backing's still there to slide around and line up the tops and the bottoms. The cuts in the sides will help you pull the vinyl down and angle it where you need to be to line up the top and the bottom. If you don't get it perfect, that's what our craft knife is for and we can fix it. Once you have it in place, lay that whole section of the vinyl down. I just rub it with my hands. You can also burnish it with your scraper tool, but it will stick to the cup fairly well. Next, we're going to pull off the transfer tape from the section we just put down and cut off the transfer tape so that we can easily do the next section. And by easily, I mean the next section is going to be a little bit harder, but you can do it. Start by taking off the rest of the paper backing, making sure that the vinyl or the transfer tape doesn't stick. You want to hold it out at about a 45 degree angle. Again, this is where the little slits are going to come in handy. Use them to manipulate the vinyl up around the top of the cup. But I have to tell you, this is a section you're probably going to need to use your craft knife to trim up the top because it will go over the top of your cup no matter how hard you try. It's probably going to happen. So it's no big deal. It's totally fixable. Just do the best you can getting around the top of the cup and then smooth down from the top to the bottom. Once you have the vinyl all down, remove your transfer tape and then smooth down the vinyl with your fingers. I have a wrinkle in one of mine, so I'm going to use my weeding pin to just pull up the edge of that vinyl and smooth it back down. And then as you can see, some of the decals went over the rim of the top of the cup. Like I said, they most likely would. I'm just going to grab my craft knife and go around the rim of the cup. It will cut through the vinyl nicely and you can take it off the excess. The first half of our transfer went pretty smoothly. So now we're going to grab our other sheet and repeat the same process. You want to make sure you know which side is your top and which is your bottom and which side goes next. It's the wavy side that we cut in half and the top will be your longer side. So line it up. You will notice there will be some gaps in here you have to fill on both sides and that's why we cut those extra bits of decals. 
but line it up the best you can make sure it's going to go around your cup smoothly and then repeat the process remove one end of your transfer tape and fold the paper backing down line it up in place and then wrap it around your cup about halfway before you want to pull off that transfer tape for this round I didn't end up cutting the transfer tape it just worked out where I could pull it straight up and then reline up the next section once you get that paper backing all the way off again you want to make sure your transfer tape and vinyl doesn't stick and you, but you also kind of want to eyeball it because there's a good chance you're going to overlap towards the top of the cup just because of the nature of the curve and the gap that we left when we added the second round so you may have some that you need to, to trim off and then we'll come back around and fill in any of the gaps that we have be sure to smooth it all down with your fingers and make sure there are no wrinkles and then remove the transfer tape I'm then going to use the section I cut off and one piece at a time just to transfer them to the cup to start filling in the gaps and then we'll see where we are. I'd say everything is looking pretty good. We do have this gap at the top and then a, another small gap at the bottom and that's where the extra pieces that we cut will come in. So you can reuse your transfer tape in most cases grab some of those extra pieces and just fill in any gaps that you may have. Once that is done, give your top edges and bottom edges another once over. Grab your craft knife if you need to and trim any extra away. Now for this cup, you want to let it cure, the vinyl cure on the cup for at least 24, preferably 48 hours before you wash it. The particular vinyl I'm using, and actually any vinyl for that matter, says it's not dishwasher safe. I know Oracle 651 survives in my dishwasher for a long, long time. I have not checked on the holographic vinyl though, and again, this is HTV Rant, so I would hand wash only, and again, make sure you wait 24 to 48 hours before you use the cup. Now you know how to make your very own tapered tumbler template in Cricut Design Space and how to wrap these puppies so they turn out super cute. Don't forget to check out Save a Cup for some of these adorable tumblers and great discounts. And be sure to like and subscribe for more fun Cricut crafts and tutorials. God bless!